हरि ओम फ्रेंड्स जय श्री कृष्ण ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय वेलकम टू सनातन दुनिया योर स्पिरिचुअल होम इन दिस वीडियो आई शेल बी गिविंग अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द फेमस बांके बिहारी टेंपल इन वृंदावन उत्तर प्रदेश इंडिया बांके बिहारी टेंपल इज अ हिंदू टेंपल ऑफ द राधा वल्लभा ट्रेडिशन डेडिकेटेड टू लॉर्ड कृष्णा इन द होली सिटी ऑफ वृंदावन इन द मथुरा डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश इंडिया इट वॉज कंस्ट्रक्टेड इन एटीन सिक्सटी फोर सिचुएटेड नियर श्री राधा वल्लभा टेम्पल बांके बिहारी वॉज ओरिजिनली वर्शिप्ड एट निधि वन वृंदावन द इमेज ऑफ कृष्णा स्टैंड इन द त्रिभंगा पोस्टर स्वामी हरिदास ओरिजिनली वर्शिप दिस डिवोशनल इमेज अंडर द नेम ऑफ कुंज बिहारी one who enjoys in the groves kunj of vrindavan banke means bent and bihari or vihari means enjoyer this is how krishna who is bent in three places got the name banke bihari according to shri brahma samhita verse 5.31 brahma says the following about lord krishna I worship Govinda the primeval lord round whose neck is swinging a garland of flowers beautified with a moon locket whose two hands are adorned with the flute and jeweled ornaments who always revels in pastimes of love whose graceful threefold bending form of sham shama sundara is eternally manifest Now for some information on the history of this temple Banke Bihari temple was established by Swami Haridas Lalita Sakhi in Dwapar Yuga a guru of the famous singer Tansen Once at the request of his disciples Swami Haridas ji sang the following verse in Nidhi Van Vrindavan Mai ri sahaj jori pragat bhai ju rang ki gor sham ghan daimini jaisen प्रथम हुन आहूति अब हुन आगेन हुन राही हाय न तरी हाय तायसेन अंग अंग की ऊर्जाय सुहाराय चतुराय सुदेरता आयसेन श्री हरिदास के स्वामी श्याम श्यामा कुंज बिहारी सम वाइस वाइसेन ऑन सिंगिंग द वर्स सेलेस्टियल कपल श्यामा श्याम In other words, Radha Krishna appeared in front of him and his devotees. At the request of Sri Swami Ji, the couple merged into one, and the idol of Banke Bihari appeared there. The same idol is seen in the temple. The idol was established in Nidhi Van. The image of Bihari Ji installed in Sri Banke Bihari Mandir. is the one granted to swami haridas by the celestial couple shama sham themselves submitting to the desire of devotees the lord appeared in person with his divine consort and left back a black charming image before disappearing swami haridas was born to shri ashudhir and his wife shrimati ganga devi on the day of radha ashtami that is eighth day of the second bright fortnight of bhadrapad month of of the year 1535 vikrami 1478 ad he was born in a small village now known as haridaspur near aligra in uttar pradesh the lineage of the family can be traced back to shri gargacharya shri gargacharya was the kul guru family guru of yadavas and visited braj secretly for conducting the namkarna samskara naming ceremony of young krishna and balrama on the request of shri vasudeva a branch of the family migrated to multan now in pakistan but some of them returned after a long time shri ashudhir was one such migrant who after returning from multan settled at the outskirts of bridge near aligarh Swami Haridas was the reincarnation of Lalita Sakhi female friend of the inner consortium of Lord Krishna 
This easily explains the fact that even in his childhood, he was more into meditation and scriptures while other children of his age were busy playing. He was married at a suitable age according to the time to Harimati. Even after his marriage, young Harida stayed away from worldly pleasures and concentrated on meditation. Hari Matiji was such a saintly soul herself that on realizing the inclination of her husband, she prayed intensely and was bodily transported to the heavenly abode of the Lord by entering the flame of a small lamp in the presence of Haridas. No physical remains were left behind. Soon after that, Haridas left his village for Vrindavan, which was a dense forest at that time and chose a secluded spot, which is now known as Nidivan, to practice his music and to enjoy the eternal bliss of, bliss of meditation. He constantly and continuously meditated on Nitya Ras and Nitya Bihar of the Lord at Nitya Vrindavan. His way of sadhana was to compose and sing songs in praise of the Lord. While on earth living in a mortal state, he facilitated his regular unobstructed entry in the Nitya Bihar and always enjoyed the pleasure of closeness of the Lord. He chose a secluded and densely forested area, Kunj, in Nidivan as his gateway to the Nirvana and was mostly sitting there singing, meditating and surfing in the ocean of eternal bliss. His disciples were curious about this place and one day with the permission of Swamiji, they all entered the Kunj. But instead of seeing anything, they were almost blinded by bright, intense light which seemed to fill the whole place. On, know on knowing of their plight, Swamiji himself went there and then after his request, the Lord appeared in person with his divine consort, ple pleasantly smiling and in a playful mood and casting a spell of charm on every living entity present there. Those who witnessed this were so spellbounded by the beauty of the Lord and his consort that they couldn't even blink their eyes. It seemed that all of them had turned into stone statues. The legend as handed down to the generations of Goswamis says that the beauty of the divine couple was so much that no one wanted to lose sight and proximity of divinity but then what kind of divinity is it which cannot make a mere mortal swoon and charmed enough to forget and give up the world and its luxuries. The beauty of the divine couple was so much that lesser mortals like you and me won't be able to bear such a heavenly beauty. Sensing this, Swami Haridasji requested both of them to take a single form as the world won't be able to bear their image. He requested them to take a single form like Ghan, Cloud and Damani, Lightning, thus giving a perfect metaphor to the combined beauty of the Dark Lord and his fair consort Radhaji. Also, he wanted his beloved Lord to be in front of his eyes always. Granting him his both wishes, the couple turned itself into one simple black charming idol, the same one that you see in the temple today. The charm and beauty of Sri Banke Bihari Ji is the only reason why the darshan in the temple is never continuous, but is broken by the curtain drawn on him regularly. It is also said that if one stares long enough into the eyes of Sri Banke Bihari Ji, the person would lose his self-consciousness. Thus came into existence the physical form of Lord Banke Bihari, popularly known as Bihari Ji. The responsibility of Seva of Bihari Ji was handed over to Goswami Jagannath by Swamiji himself. Goswami Jagannath was one of the principal disciples and younger brothers of Swamiji. By tradition, the Seva is performed by descendants of Jagannath Goswami till day. Initially, the deity was installed in a temple close to the first appearance in Nidivan. 
a new temple befitting the glory of bihari ji was constructed in 1862 ad goswamis themselves mobilized resources for the construction the temple is an architectural beauty in itself and follows the contemporary rajasthani style now for information on how to reach the banke bihari temple in vrindavan uttar pradesh by road Vrindavan is situated on Delhi Agra NH2. The various buses runs between the Agra and Delhi. Temple is 7 kilometers away from National Highway. Getting to the temple is very easy as there are frequent tempos and rickshaw available throughout the day. Mathura is just 12 kilometers away. Frequent buses, tempos and taxis run between Mathura and Vrindavan. By train The major railway station nearby is Mathura on the Delhi Chennai and Delhi Mumbai main line. Several express and passenger trains connect Mathura from other major cities of India like Delhi, Mumbai, Pune, Chennai, Chennai, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Calcutta, Gwalior, Dehradun, Indore and Agra. Though Vrindavan itself is a railway station A rail bus runs between Vrindavan and Mathura 5 rounds in a day. By air. The nearest airport is Agra, just 67 km away from Vrindavan. The nearest international airport is Delhi, which is connected to almost every important city in the world with major airlines. There are regular flights to other important tourist destinations of India such as Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore and Chennai etc. So friends here ends this short video on the Banke Bihari temple in Vrindavan Uttar Pradesh India. I pray to Lord Vishnu and Lord Krishna that all people should get the opportunity to visit this temple at least once in their lives if not more times. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day ahead. Hari Om. Jai Shri Krishna. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya.